In cooperation with the U.S. Department of Justice, Bureau of Justice Assistance, and the Valor Programs, the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, NLEOMF, is engaged in the Destination Zero Project, which acknowledges effective officer safety and wellness initiatives that help drive down the risk factors proven to lead to officer injuries and deaths. Each year, four law enforcement agencies receive the coveted National Officer Safety and Wellness Award. Each month, one of the winners or finalists from the previous year is featured on the Destination Zero website. This featured initiative is the Prince George's County Police Officer Traffic Safety Program. Within the span of two years, the Prince George's County Police Department suffered the loss of three officers, all of whom died in single vehicle crashes. These tragedies became the impetus for changing behavior and promoting safety. In 2013, the department instituted their Arrive Alive program, which focuses on reducing crashes and injuries. They instituted a mandatory two-hour training session on vehicle safety and good driving habits that was taught by the command staff. This top-down approach to improving driver safety was followed by a weekly safety message from the command staff to drive home the message of driver safety. The main areas that are addressed are increasing the use of seat belts, getting officers to slow down, and limiting distractions caused by electronic devices. The main areas that are addressed are increasing the use of seat belts, getting officers to slow down, and limiting distractions caused by electronic devices. Driver safety messages were put up in conspicuous places, and six times a day a driver's safety message was broadcast over the police radio on all channels. These messages and reminders were then followed up by first-line supervisors. The lieutenants and the sergeants are charged with reinforcing the safety messages by talking to their officers and spelling out not only the public perception problems bad driving habits present, but the liability and potential administrative sanctions that could result from these bad habits. In order to provide incentives to officers and command staff, driver safety awards are issued monthly to the Bureau of the Patrol District that has the lowest number of crashes. It was reported that in 2011 to 2012, the estimated number of officers regularly wearing their seat belt was 45 percent. Following a year of this safety initiative, it is estimated that 70 to 75 percent of their officers are now regularly wearing their seat belts, a dramatic improvement. Further, the department crash rate has fallen, decreasing by almost 25 percent. To learn more about the Prince George's County Police Officer Traffic Safety Program, visit DestinationZero.org, click on the Officer Traffic Safety tab, then see Award Finalists. To learn more about the Destination Zero Program, or to nominate a law enforcement agency's safety program for the National Officer Safety and Wellness Award, contact Nick Brule, Director of Officer Safety and Wellness at the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund at 202 737-7864 or email us at nbreul at nleomf.org.